Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back with another so rare video. This time for game week, I don't know what we're on, 38 maybe? <laughs> but it'll be correct in the title, so don't worry about that. We're going to go over my lineups, look at the new contest, and then get you the best value picks that I got for this week. Also talk a little NBA Top Shot as well, because things have been crazy over there. As always, follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out the value plays closer to lock time because there's sure going to be some injuries so there's going to be some good values so follow me at best dunks it'll be linked down in the description as well let's talk about some top shot stuff to start this one out so still movement on flash challenges and stuff in top shot even with everything going on jeremy grant went up to 29 dollars from like 18 if we look at this on evaluate xyz sales at 18 and then you know climbed up to 29 for the challenge which is a massive climb it's like 60 something percent climb so still some big climbs and pumps on moments still on top shot which is still good to see and shows that people are still a little engaged also there was a huge thing about top shot this week if you didn't see that check out my last video about the roham article which is pretty crazy and then we got an mgle pack drop which really good players and i mean look at these players you can you can pull in here out of just 399 so pretty good stuff if you want to check that out i'm getting a pack here i got ten dollars off my pack if you had a certain collector score so it's 59 bucks now for some so rare stuff looking at my lineups here i only put in four lineups because or three lineups because they got rid of one of the common ones and i just didn't have enough leftover players in my contender to be competitive this lineup I thought was going to be pretty good, but Jackson kind of had a stinker at 40. Doughton just didn't play after playing like all last week, 15 to 20-ish minutes. Uh, he just didn't play, so that hurt, and his cap was, I think, really low. So that's really what ruined the lineup. And then Kuminga still got a game if he can hit like 30. And if I hit Doughton, I might have got a prize, and if Jackson maybe got something better, it would have been a good prize. I don't even really care about the common lineups anymore, to be honest, because you can't win something. But actually, this one did pretty good. If we look at upcoming contests, again, you can't win limiteds in these. Kind of pointless now to play those. It seems like I have like over 100 common cards anyway, so I don't really need more. Limited cards here. We still got this one out of two 2.4k prizes and the limited champion and then the under 23 which in my opinion the cap is too high on this at 120 like even with all i have now i can't get to the cap i still have 34 remaining so i think they should lower the cap on that one but let's look at some of the best value here for this week so starting it off dennis smith jr without Lamelo ball his cap's still at 22 higher than i thought but Hit a 32 last week, so still value 35 here. So without LaMelo, he should be hitting some pretty big scores. Also without LeBron, you know, Rui is a 19 cap. Hit a 33 last week, so you love a little Rui in there. And Austin Reeves has had some big games. His cap is just 18. Hit a 27 and a 32. And actually had a 32 four games ago as well. In just 18 minutes. Another guy I like with uh, the uh, Monte Morris out in Washington has been DeLon, right? He got a 41. Oh, that's today. Jeez. So, yeah. And a 37 in just 20 minutes. So, he's going to be playing plus 30 minutes if Monte Morris is out. And honestly, I think he's just better than Monte Morris. He should be playing anyway. All right. Some of the best value here is going to be Charles Bassey who's just a 10 cap, and yeah, hit a 31. I think he's doing pretty well tonight as well. So at a 10 cap, that's why his prices are all the way up to 21, but he's definitely going to be a good value play probably the rest of the season, in the regular season at least. Also, Kelly Oubre Jr. without LaMelo Ball. Uh, I'm just going to shoot a ton, which we saw last game. and put up 42 so rare points, so like Ubre as well. A higher priced player uh, and higher cap is Anthony Davis, but his cap's just 46. Definitely has the ability to 
put up, I mean, like 65 here, especially without LeBron. He's going to have some monster games, and his cap's still low. Why that price is so high. Mark Williams, let's see what his value is. 25, so he's got some decent value left in him. 20 or 47, 33, 31. So definitely could be some good value on the week. Another guy is Cam Johnson. I think it's Cameron in here. Yeah. His cap's 25, but he's been hitting some big scores. 43 and a 44 in his past five games. So definitely some pretty good value still. Taylor Horton Tucker as well. Just playing a lot more now after the trade deadline. 29 minutes. Uh, 34 minutes, hit a 36 in his last four, but his cap's up to 25 now, so still some value left in him. Rudy Gobert just always makes good value. It seems like his cap's always really low because he just has terrible games, and then out of nowhere he'll have massive games. Like, he'll give you a 24, and then 40, 47, 34, 27, so he's just all over the place, but it keeps his cap low, and he's good for a couple pretty nice games then we got portland guys still got some value even with most of the guys back reddish has still been value out of 17 cap hit a 23 25 34 so still playing big minutes and if he's knocking down shots get some steals he can hit some big scores at a 17 cap and then jeremy grant he's going to be a little higher priced actually only 15 bucks Cap's 28. He's got the ability to get you 40s. He did yesterday, 41. So we went over a good amount of value here. I think the Keel Alexander Walker was pretty good. I think he's still playing some decent minutes here. So he's decent at a really low cap of nine as well and six bucks. So that's going to be my value. Again, if you want more towards the lock, follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet it out for you. So now let's just build some lineups here. We're going to go a pickup lineup. You can't win a limited card anymore, which sucks. But Luka's only got one game. We're still going to play him. And Giannis's uh, cap's way down to 52 as well. So it leaves us with 23. Let's see if we can play any value that we talked about in the video. Actually, Dario Sark has been pretty good value. He hit a 32 this past week. So kind of like him. Now that gives us 28 on average to work with gonna try to find another value here i think wiseman actually is pretty good or kuminga but i would go to wiseman so now we got 41 i wanted to be able to get to anthony davis but it doesn't look like i'll be able to get there so let's actually take out sarik and we got nine to work with now all right so we're scratching this we're going to uh rudy gobert actually now at 31 cap, which leaves us with 24. We should be able to find something. We go Franz. I think that's the move right there. And that's going to be our first lineup. Then we go to under 23. I guess I just used my Franz, but we still got Jaw. We still got Anthony Edwards. And we got 27 left. Go Mark Williams. 28 left still. Let's go Cam Reddish. And then we got 39. You can get up to, I'll go Darius Garland. And then for the limited contender, got to go Jaron Jackson for sure. And I want to get Okongo in there because sometimes he just blows up and has huge games. And then we got to look for some value down below. I'm going to go to McGowan's here and Davion Mitchell because Darren Fox might not play again. Which leaves us with 24 and I will go to Kaminga. And if we wanted to switch out Davion Mitchell here, we could go up to Covington or Josh Christopher and uh, switch that lineup out. All right, so that's going to do it for me in this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, definitely consider subscribing. Follow me on Twitter for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.